Alright. I think my comments are all hidden. And I've said this before in videos, so this is just gonna be one video about it. So a grandfather clock has counterbalance weights that you lift up and they pull the gears down and it's like winding a watch like with a spring when you when you wind a watch with a spring you're compressing the spring and the spring wants to go back to the way it is so it it pushes on the the mechanisms and they all move all the gears it's a it's a mathematical thing you know it's all it's all understood you can calculate it and you can plan it all all out and so what i want to do is i want to build a, a lever mechanism where you drive your car onto the mechanism and overnight it goes down and no matter what level it's at you could always remove the car from the mechanism under the car's own power and so you know you're not losing the the use of the car but if you use the car you're going to lose the use of your your counterbalance so you could also just have a trailer with a, a large amount of weight on it that you move back and forth on it if you wanted to free your car up but in the ease of things and not having to move weird things i would just park the car like you do at the end of the day and and the next day when you go to use the car it, it's been about eight eight or ten hours usually and uh that could be a lot of charging time for a bank of batteries that you had in your home um this could all just be a supplement to solar power or whatever power but it seems like it would be unobtrusive to uh build you know it's just a mechanical design you're not going to have to build any of these specialty products where you have to hurt the environment or look for specialty pieces mine special components you could do all that stuff relatively simply and <clears throat> you could also i mean you might not even need to use electricity you could you could generate a, a large flywheel to, to to start spinning and then you just use power takeoffs I knew a guy that was a uh, an Amish of Amish descent and he w he didn't live Amishly but he had a lot of traits that came from them and uh he was talking how they could have like a mechanical device that would like a say a windmill or something and they could attach power devices off of that and they'd have like a belt going through the house and and you just you can hook up your blender to the to the belt you know these things you just don't have electricity all all of the stuff has been given to us and I, I don't know maybe i'm wrong about that stuff i don't know what their ideas are or anything like that but this thing is so simple i i i i didn't i put it together on my own but i heard about well, I've always been amazed. I've always been amazed with my aunt and uncle's grandfather clock. And, uh, and then I heard about a kid in a, in a rural country, like a, where they didn't have any electricity and stuff. And look at that. I never realized that. But look, you can see the port. You can see that. The port. And then you can see the airport. Airport and the port. Airport, port. That's a cool spot. Anyways. I saw this kid and he, he invented this light that it it's just like a sack of sand or whatever. And you lift up the sack of sand. And as it as it falls back down, it it creates a spinning motion, which does a generator, and it can light a a little LED light so that the kid can do homework with with electricity. I mean, you get a bunch of those, and you could probably charge your cell phone, or maybe even a laptop, or whatever. Who knows? We're not limited. We're only limited by ourselves, and you don't need. 
you don't need to patent this or anything. You don't need to sell it and make money. Why don't you just get yourself off of the grid? Get yourself off the grid where we don't have to pay suckers for, for something that we could just make ourselves really easily and, and maintain it ourselves and just be self-sufficient. If you don't need anything from anybody else, then damn, you'd have the life.